In this video, I will be showing you how to edit recurring charges and one-off transactions in Arthur. So firstly, I'm going to edit a recurring charge. So in order to do so, let's find a tenancy. On the left-hand side of the screen, go to the tenancies, and then find the tenancy that you'd like to edit. So now head to recurring charges on the left hand side. And here you can see my monthly direct rent charge of £1,200. In order to edit this, I click the drop down arrow on the right hand side of the transaction and then edit recurring charge. It's now possible to ed edit any details for, for your recurring charge, such as the starting on period and the ending date. I am just going to edit the amount of this transaction as though the rent price has dropped down. Once that's done, I can just click save recurring charge. And this, as you can see, the next collection date is the 1st of November, which is in the future. So any transactions on or after that date will now have the new charge applied. This won't apply to previous charges that have already been created. Editing a transaction is very similar. You simply go to the statement and find the transaction. For this example, I'm going to edit the sundry charge of £110. Simply go to the drop down arrow on the right hand side and click edit transaction. Again, you can change the details of the transaction here, such as the date. And the amount. Click submit when you're happy with your changes that you've made and Arthur will update the invoice.